I'm gonna welcome you back here to the Taylor Florida History Project. For the next few weeks, I'll be continuing to add different playlists to this channel as I'm creating it. Uh, the playlist I'm gonna talk to you about today is gonna be about my years at Hicks Feed and Garden Center working for my former boss. Uh, spent almost 20 years there. In that 20 years, seen a lot of changing in the way Perry's history is. Met a lot of old people, a lot of people from from the old days. And uh, in, a, in an environment like that, you, you hear a lot of stories. They tell you a lot of tales. And a lot of those are what I had never heard and kind of stimulated me to do some history and led, some of it led nowhere. Some of it led to discoveries of things out of Perry's history that was past, it was documented. But So uh, 20 years is a long time working in a place and dealing with people to not learn something. See a lot of changes in agricultural, farming, garden, just the culture of people around you. You learn a lot about people. You learn a lot about families and interaction between families and, and community. So as those come back to me, those memories, I'll do little short clips on that. Uh, I'm gonna try to patch in with that, some historical photos as I can find them. That's my intention with the cemeteries. I did the poor spot the other day and it was kind of on the fly, but I, I got an idea from that. I did a couple little ones in it, but in those future cemetery videos, as we go through there and look at different headstones, when I can find history on those people, I'm gonna patch that in with it. So. Uh, Hicks Feed sold several years ago. The name was changed, the uh, building itself and all still the same. A different person bought it. The business itself has changed tremendously. Those old businesses like that are slowly changing and disappearing. And so I just thought it would be cool to chronicle what I had seen there in the 20 years that I helped manage and run it, working for Mr. Higgs. So keep your eye out for that playlist. Uh, it'll be sporadic here and there, but. It will be in tune in about the history and the people of Taylor County. I appreciate y'all joining me.